According to the city of Corpus Christi, there are 850 homeless people in the city as of their last count in 2021. That's 850 people who will need a warm place to stay, food and clean clothes. Homeless assistance programs provide funding to local governments and nonprofits to serve people affected by homelessness. In 2021, the city of Corpus Christi was awarded nearly $3 million. This year, the Salvation Army was given grant funding worth $104,000. Kyle Knudsen, the Social Services Director for the Salvation Army and the Homeless Issues Partnership Coalition President, says outreach has changed significantly in the last five to ten years. Funding, of course, is what drives everything. Um, I wish it was and I wish everything was free. The funding coming from the city is there for agencies who are willing to apply for it. And it's up to the organizations to accept that funding. We are one of the organizations that chose to accept that funding. Hope House accepts that funding. They receive funding. Um, the tie back to that is there is it's a government funding, so you're going to be audited. You're going to have eyes on you, and it's it, it's a little bit more difficult to work with. Knutson thinks the lack of resources is tied to how many other agencies are able to back up the funding. As for what the city offers, the emergency weather outreach team is activated during freezing conditions. During this outreach, the team passes out beanies, gloves, blankets, and hand warmers. Offering the same services, Marilena Garza, who runs Free Store Corpus Christi, is asking the city to take more action. Why can't you put together a common sense approach to a lot of these problems that are going to continue to happen? We didn't, they didn't learn any um, lessons during the big freeze. As one of the lowest barrier resources, Garza is happy to see people trust her. Susana Venicia has been living on and off the streets for three years. She tells us when it gets cold, she knows who to turn to. There's a huge need for more and 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 and, and so I'm really hoping that, that the city can help because it's just regular people right now that are providing the most love. The next point in count of homeless people in our city will be done in January. By knowing how many people need assistance, the city can provide more resources. For a list of overnight assistance in the city, head to our website, kztv10.com. For Action 10 News, I'm Victoria Valderrama.